Hello aspirants. So today in this video, we are going to discuss about how to fill in the application form for National Institute of Nutrition's NSET 2023. So for all those of you who are preparing and were finding it difficult or, or finding any problems in filling the application form, today we are going to discuss the application process at length. But before we move on to that, please make sure that you subscribe to our channel. We always constantly come up with updates on various agricultural and food and allied industries examinations. And uh, moving on, as you can see that this is the NIN website, the official website. Uh, when you visit the NIN official website, you can just click on what's new and you can see that there are. So firstly, we will uh, visit the NIN website, okay, the official website. And when we visit the website, we see that this admission for MSc Applied Nutrition and Sports Nutrition, it comes on top. You just have to click on it. Okay, it will directly take you to the I ICMR NIN uh, website where you just have to click on new user if you have not yet registered and registration is the first process and then you move on to the application form. So if you're a new user, you just click on new user. Okay, here you will have to fill in your name and other details. Okay, now please make sure that your name uh, resembles that uh, that you have put in your degree certificate okay the quota in the quota category uh, the central and state quota are given central quota is for those of you who do not reside in the same state as nin and state quota is for those of you who reside in the same state uh, or come under the same state as the national institute of nutrition okay so right now i'm just going to select central quota if you're from state then you can select state state also uh, social status uh, you have to select which category you fall into right now i'm just going to randomly select obc okay and please make sure you select the right category because you will have to show verification and evidence for that later on uh, make sure that you fill in the right mobile number here in the mobile number section because you will receive all further communications and otps on this okay your email id should also be active because all communication will also be directed on your mobile number or your email ID. Under the eligible degree qualification, you have to select in which field you got your graduation from. For example, if you select BSc Nursing, here under the applying for section, you will see that you only have applied nutrition as an option because you cannot select sports nutrition if you are from BSc Nursing. Okay, but if you are applying from BSc Sports Science, for example, then you will also only have a sports nutrition as an applying for option because you are only eligible for that. But for example, if you are from food and nutrition, okay, you can apply for both applied nutrition and sports nutrition. For now, let's take BSc food and nutrition. You need to select okay. Okay, you need to submit it. Verify your details before submitting before uh, because this is the final details that you cannot edit. So make sure that you fill in the correct details because you cannot edit it after you have uh, clicked on the submit button. It will ask you again if you are sure. Okay. Now, as you can see, the registration is successfully done and you will have to check your mail and you will also receive a message on your phone uh, on the number that you put in. Uh, regarding the registration ID and password. So now it will direct you to the site where you have to put in your registration ID that you rec received on your email or your phone number. Now after filling in the registration ID and password, all you have to do is sign in. It will directly take you to the section where you have to now change your password. So the password that was given by uh, NIN's website to you has now to be changed. Okay, and please make sure that you change your password according to these specifications given. So it should it should have an uppercase and lowercase character. It should also have at least eight characters and not more than 20. Okay, make sure that you have numbers included and one special character. Now click on change password. It will ask you again if, you, if you're sure you want to change password. Yes, you are sure. Now all you need to do is put in the same registration ID and the changed password now and then sign in it will take you to this window where you can see uh, 
there is a know your eligibility column under this you can check whether you're eligible for the for filling the form or not okay so eligibility for applied nutrition eligibility for sports nutrition and all this and for knowing more about the notification if you do not have enough information about nin's notification that you can just click on the link given in the description box below and uh, we have shared a video on the notification the details of the notification so you can view that after this after checking whether you are eligible or not you can know your status your name uh, information regarding your number email id and everything application fee and your social status will be given here okay after that you can just click on application details if you want to know about the application details but it will only open after you have you know made the payment okay so you can only view your application details after you have made the payment so first you will have to go through the payment process and then only you can continue on the application process payment details will also open when you have a payment reference number for right now you will have to click on pay now here it will take you to this uh, page where you can see the payment amount will be displayed uh, the alternative payment options will be given you can choose whatever is convenient to you okay and then all you need to do is i agree to the terms and pay now click on pay now it will take you to this page okay and you can proceed with the payment under the application form you can see that you will have to fill your name first then you will also have to fill your father husband or guardian's name here and you will have to mention what relationship you share with them for example here radha and daughter of krishna and nationality is mentioned okay iske baad uh, you have to fill in the address the full address uh, of your residence okay after filling the address uh, mentioning the state and uh, the pin code and district you can put you can put your telephone number if you like but mobile number and email is a uh, very important and mandatory all these star marked things are very important and you cannot proceed without filling the information there date of birth you also have to mention okay female uh, your gender you will have to specify okay after that uh, this central quota was already selected by you so it will be displayed okay the obc quota that we uh, for example if you selected after this you have to fill in your educational qualifications now under qualifications for example this person wrote bsc botany are you waiting for a result if you are in your uh, last semester or last year and you have not yet uh, completed your graduation then you have to fill yes i am waiting for it but if you have already completed your graduation then you fill no name of institution you have to mention then address of the institution and in which month you passed theek hai and first uh, then fir we we move on to year of passing you have to mention the name of the university uh, from which you passed and the percentage of marks or cgpa that you obtained during that exam after that marks obtained in the qualifying examination year semester wise you have to mention now here you can see do you have mark sheets year wise or semester wise it will ask because some colleges follows uh, some colleges follow a uh, semester pattern and some follow year wise pattern so this you have to uh, mention whether it is semester wise or year wise okay then year should be selected for the qualifying examination and uh, marks that the maximum marks or the sgpa and the ma marks obtained by you or the sgpa that is was obtained okay you have to mention here you also have to add qualifying examination marks after that we come to particulars of education of 7 year study up to qualifying examination so here you have to mention the class or course that you took up uh from which year you started and which year it ended okay and then name of the institution or college that you uh, pursued it from the state in which the institution was so from class 9th uh the class and courses that you took will have to be mentioned here you also have to mention which uh, under which quota are you claiming the seat central or state okay now so examination center preferences uh, under this section you have to make a choice about preference 1 and 
preference one, two, and three. Hmm. So under examination center preferences, you have to make a choice, uh, make three choices regarding the preferences of your uh, examination center, uh, which should be according to your convenience. So for example, if you Hyderabad is the closest to you, you select preference one Hyderabad. If uh, Delhi is the closest, next closest uh, city to you, then you select Delhi. If Kolkata is the next, then you select Kolkata. So you have to uh, make preferences of examination centers as you will get a, an examination most likely out of this mix. Moving on, uh, the next step would be to upload your photo and signature. And photo and signature need to be below 50 KB. So please make sure that it is in uh, the photo and signature that you're uploading uh, is in JPG or JPEG format and is under 50 KB. You can also compress it online if you like. That will uh, make it fit into the specifications. Okay, after choosing the file and selecting it from your PC or laptop, you can just upload it and the same way you have to upload the signature. After this, you have to click on this declaration where uh, you are ticking that I have filled the application form after thoroughly reading the notification prospectus and uh, that you are well informed about whatever uh, information that you're putting in. So all you need to do is just, if you want to preview, you can preview the application form and it will show you what all details you filled. Otherwise, you can just save as a draft. Okay. If you click on the preview button, this will be the screen that will be appearing on your uh, website. Okay. So under this, you can see that you can check your name, verify all the details that you filled in until now. Okay. And after you have confirmed that every detail is right, you can just click on the submit button. Okay. And the following pop-up will appear as shown below. Uh, now this pop-up will ask you whether the details that you're filling in are correct and if any further modification is needed because if you want to modify it, you can only modify it now. After submitting, you cannot edit it after. All you need to do next is click on the OK button. Okay. And then when you go to the home page and uh, check your uh, status of application, then you will see this appearing on your screen. The registration details, payment details, everything. Earlier, pay now was appearing. After payment option, uh, after going through with the payment, this di dialog box will appear. Okay. I hope you found this information useful. For more such information updates, please subscribe to our channel. Thank you.